Me at a picture that I made in like elementary school because I'm video recording right now, videotaping. Paul. Well, and this is Paul, obviously. <laughs> he was picking his nose, and we will be showing you some tips for darts. There's the dartboard and the uh, ceiling tile around it so that we don't throw it into the wall. There we go. Mom, get the first tip for darts is accuracy, and Paul will dem be demonstrating this in three th throws. Throw number one. That was pretty good. See, he was pretty close to the bullseye that time. Throw number two. Um. Is that uh, replaceable? Yeah, that's replaceable. And our last throw always should be the best. And go figure, it was. It wasn't quite as close as this dart or that dart all the way in the corner, but it was a good throw. So there's the accuracy. Next will be your balance. Our next tip for the darts is your balance. You always want to have a good balance, or else you won't hit the dartboard. So, you want to get your feet set, and then you want to throw the dart. Okay, just, just like that. So, Paul, you want to get that? Sure. That's well, I hit the wall, not the tape. Oh, well, Or well. whatever. Another good balance tip to try is maybe try going on the, ball, on the balls of your toes, like your feet on one foot. This is a good balance technique if you want to hit the dartboard. See that time, I didn't do a very good job with my balance, but I still got decently close to the dartboard. Eh, uh, okay. Throw number three. Try it on your left foot, but on your heel. Now all three of these different balance movements... But don't hold on to the wall like Ryan's doing. Well, I'm just preparing myself for the throw. Now you want to like, get one with your inner self and then throw it. Okay. That was my best of my three throws, it looks like. But who's measuring oh, this one? yeah. Another important tip for darts is how you throw the dart. The most normal way is to throw the dart overhand, as so. Just like that. Another way to do it is the sidearm, which is a pretty good technique. Teen. That was a pretty good one, right? Yeah. Another way is the backhand. So I'll show you this with my right hand. You just come across and you just hope it hits the dartboard. And the dartboard. Oh. Yeah, there's my dart that I just threw backhand. Pretty good. Okay, now Ryan is going to try attempt the underhand. This is one of my favorite techniques and my most used often. You just take the dart, hold it by the metal, and you just go underhand. Like, like when, here's my first throw. Wasn't a bad throw. Didn't hit the bullseye or the dartboard at all, but it wasn't horrible. Like it didn't there, hit the wall. There are no holes in the wall. Separate one. Second underhand throw. What the? That that hit. was not supposed to happen. So maybe not. Don't try using the underhand. Do your buttered toast. After looking at that dart, I would suggest going with the overhand throw. So. Just take a look at that dart again. I don't know, that sidearm throw was pretty good. Yes. Um, now, you got another tip in darts is always know and where the dart board is in the right time. And your focus. Yeah. The phone! The oh. phone's ringing. Uh oh, Paul, you're always supposed to keep focus on the dart board. I'm, I'm sorry! Even though you got, you, got, you got pretty close, but that's just unacceptable. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go I'm get sorry. that. Okay. I gotta take, oh. Here's Paul again, expressing us how to focus when you're throwing your dart. Six o'clock? I, I gotta leave! It is six o'clock, Paul. Ha. You're gonna be late. See ya! Okay, we just got back from calling Paul's house, and he can stay till 7.30 in, in the morning. So, Paul will now be show, no, throwing another dart, expressing focus. So, go ahead, Paul. Okay. Ready? Alright, I've got to tell you. Somebody got shanked at school today. That was really funny, too. That was not even close to the. Whoa! <laughs> you actually put a hole in the wall. Way to go! Paul, I'm gonna kill you! So, after you practice all of our really helpful tips, you're gonna wanna pull it all together into professional darts. So, here we go. You got your balance. You got your underhand. You can't. Oh, shit. A kid got in a fight at school today. He did? 
Like, no lie, there was actually a flight during lunch, but oh, that doesn't matter shamed. because the dart was pretty close. And if you're going to take our tips, see where that big shaded thing goes, you can tell where it ends. You might want to get more of that if you take our tips. So what this is, is ceiling tile so that we don't put holes in the wall, like down here and here, because Paul and I are really good and we're too cool for the normal ways of playing darts, so we create our own ways and the ways that it we will develop in the future. So I'm just going to put it all together one more time and then we'll play a little game, just maybe 501 or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Diarrhea. Yeah. Boy. Unicorns. Now Paul and I are going to play each other in a game of 301, um, which is, it, get, it starts at 301, then you, it counts down when you throw your darts. And you have to try to get perfectly to zero. So I'll be starting off with my awesome skills. Here we go. Paul's turn. Ooh. Yeah, that bounced off. That missed. Not bad Close for Paul's turn. Now it's my turn. turn. Okay. <laughs> 25! Paul's oh, yeah. 10. Next. 20! Here's Paul's second turn. Oh, Paul, Jeez. throw it harder! That should have been another tip! Okay guys, just throw harder. Paul dismissed every time. Almost, Paul. Getting better. Nice! What was that? Well, hold on, hold on. What was it, 14? Yeah. And some misses. Good job. Ryan's turn. It's close, Ryan. Close-ish. Oh, oh yeah. Paul, do better go. this time. Double 12, it looks like. I don't know what it was because it bounced off. And you crit. Ruined my record, man. See that little white thing on the screen? Yeah, that was me. When I first got the dartboard. I'm still a noob, but yeah. My turn. Ryan's turn. Oh! Ryan's turn. Two. Twenty. I was one. Oh my god. Let's go, Paul. Miss. It's fifteen. And triple eighteen. That was actually a nice shot, Paul. Those tips are working. Okay, as you can see, the score is one forty three to one forty one. It's been like ten minutes. So we will pause when it starts getting or we will come back when it starts getting tight. See ya. Ryan just scored two bullseyes in a row. The score, the score is. is now 47.55 after about 20 minutes of play time. So here comes my three darts. Two. Eleven. Nine. Okay, Paul just threw one dart, so he only has two left for recording. Go ahead. What, what's your score, Paul? Uh, 41. 25 to 41. Could be my last turn. What was that? It could be my last turn. That was only one. I thought it was 20. This next try, get, like, win. We're just gonna cut back until we actually do win. And then we'll tell you who won. So here we go. Going, still going for a nine. Five. Now I'm going for a four. Oh. Triple. Triple one? No, that's one more point. The score is the score is one to eighteen. Cause oh god, let's just go. Five. Bust my turn. I'm psyched because all I have to do is get one here, but I have to get that, nothing else. And I'm really good at getting ones. That's right. Paul. We're cutting this because of violence. So if you follow all of our tips for how to play darts. You will become a really good dart player, and Hopefully. so good luck. Nice of George Lopez. Betches. <laughs>